Hello everyone. So today is February 16th. It is currently 12 11 in the morning and I am late starting the 24 hour readathon today because I was just um, streaming with my friend Chaos uh, on her channel. Um, they were playing a game called Deceit and then we spent about another 45 minutes or so just talking because I haven't talked to her in a long time and um, a couple other people that I actually met there I had realized I knew before. So it's just... Um, uh, catching up really so it was really really good um, but right now I'm gonna tell you guys quickly what I'm getting to going to be reading and then I need to call Robert super quickly before I start just because he'll be heading off to bed soon um, so today um, I am going to be finishing reading an ebook that I received from Optones Publishing which is Colliding Skies by Debbie Zakin this is a uh, novel that is not coming out until March 6th but I was able to review it for free uh, in exchange for a review on Goodreads and Amazon before the launch date or the publishing date then more than likely what's going to end up happening is I will be able to finally finish the Deathly Hollows from the Harry Potter series because I still have over 600 pages in that one I think and um, that one's just going to take me the longest amount of time. Lighting Skies can be really, really quick um, in terms of getting through it. Like, it's kind of at a point now where it's getting really easy for me to fly through the book. Um, whereas Deathly Hollows, it definitely is much more of a build and stuff like that. So, um, that's going to take me a lot longer to read. And I probably will be able to finish that today still. If by some magical reason, though, I do end up finishing both of those books, I'm going to be at least making more of a dent in Beautiful Creatures because that one is another series I'm getting ready to start a reread of because it is one of my favorite fantasy series of all time. And I really, really want to try to get through the first book because I'm like 100 pages in at this point and I know what's basically been going on. I don't feel like I'm too out of the world still, even though I've been out of it actually for about a month now um, because I started it before the biannual bibliothon and then when the biannual bibliothon started, I started Deathly Hollows and never finished it. So that's kind of the rundown for right now, but like I said, I do need to get a couple things done before I start because I, I'm kind of to a late start today. Feeling like I might crash early just because, um, I don't know, I feel like today is one of those days, like I had just had a really bad day on Thursday and I'm kind of mentally pooped, so I don't know. I'm kind of debating on staying up super late just because I actually do want to sleep a little bit. I do have to work tomorrow morning too, so I don't want to be up super late, honestly, if I don't need to be, but... I don't know. I'm going to kind of see how it goes. So from about 9 to 2, I'm going to be busy with work for three hours from 9 to noon. I have a class from noon to 12.50, and then I have a staff meeting from 1 to 2. Um, so once I get back from those, I should be able to spend the rest of the day reading. So I think I can at least get Deathly Hollows done today if I really, really tried, even with sleeping a decent amount of hours. So we'll see, though. I'll let you guys know as I go on. Um, and yeah. We'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, so it is about 2.08 in the morning right now, and I have just finished Colliding Skies by Debbie Zakin. Oh, my God. I did not think I was going to like this book at all. I, I was really worried starting out with it because immediately it was a bit of an insta-love trope, which I absolutely hate in novels. It is my most hated trope of all. But I'm so conflicted because this one was done so well. I I really loved this story so much. There was so much good going for it and it was a wonderful debut for, I'm guessing, a possible series, if not a duology. And I don't know, there's so much that I just want to gush about, but I don't want to at the same time because the novel hasn't even come out yet. It's not coming out for a few more weeks, but... Oh my god, my heart is like seriously broken right now, and I really liked the writing style of this story a lot. I feel that it's one of the better paced novels that I've seen from Off Tomes Publishing, which I'm very excited about. I feel like with every book that, every new book that I'm seeing through the months since I started actually reviewing them in October, is the they just get better and better with each one that they come out in terms of the pacing because the pacing is so different. The thing with Off Tones Publishing is they publish very short novels, usually anywhere between 250 to about 370 pages, I think, is maybe the biggest one I've read, maybe closer to 400, but very small novels in the grand scheme of things. And 
each one that I had read that was under like 300 pages was very, very fast paced. It did not seem to work well. But the last three books that I think, I think the last three books I've read through Off Tomes Publishing have all been really freaking good. And I've been really surprised by it. Justice Buried, the last one I read during the last 24 hour readathon was also really freaking good. And I was very, very surprised with how, well, how much I really liked it. And I'm thinking that I think Colliding Skies may be a close second to that. Like, it's very, very close in, in terms of which one was my favorite. But Colliding Skies definitely has a very special place in my heart now because of the way the story was. I definitely think it's a well-written story in the sense that I think the humor was done very well. I think that the relationship, despite it being insta-love, was also really well done, which I'm going to have to gush all about in a non-spoiler review of of it later um starting maybe the beginning of next week um I'll be doing like the reviews on Monday and then they'll come out I think that one will come out Wednesday if I'm not mistaken I'm trying to like figure out a good time so yeah like it's two uh, just after 2 a.m right now so I think I'm actually going to go to sleep because I don't think that I want to sit and read Harry Potter right now especially after having my heart broken like that from colliding skies but um so I will sleep for a few hours before I have to get up and start getting ready for work and I think I should be able to actually make myself look nice for the first time in like two three weeks so we'll see maybe I'll sleep an extra hour and a half like I normally have been doing so but um then I think at work, if I get the chance, I will be reading some of Deathly Hollow. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, and it's about 8.45 right now, and I'm heading off to work. Um, I decided to sleep in a little bit today um, just because I felt really tired, and I didn't really want to get up at 7 a.m. this morning, so it's actually really nice out. It's only like 25 degrees Fahrenheit out right now, but it feels actually really, really nice. Um... We had two days yesterday of like 40 some degrees and so it melted a lot of the snow but I think a lot of it's now frozen over uh, like a lot of the standing water that we had because of all of the um, slush that was made because of the high temperature but today feels really really good so yeah um, I do have my book with me because I think I should be able to get some reading done today at work but I can't guarantee it because um, I do have to uh, hopefully do some, I have to probably do some stuff while at work. I feel actually really well rested. Um, I didn't expect to let myself sleep for like six hours, honestly. But those were my, these were my only two books I really wanted to try to finish this time. And I feel like giving myself a bigger break to sleep is actually really good. Especially since yesterday I did not have a great day at all. I pretty much just wanted to give up on everything today, or yesterday because it was just a really bad day. So I'm glad that I took the time to actually sleep a little bit longer than I normally would during these 24 hour readathons and kind of do that for myself because self-care is important and sleep is important in self-care because if you feel that you're well rested, you're more than likely going to feel better in general. Okay, everyone. So it is now just after two o'clock. I have now returned home from work, class, and staff meeting, basically, because uh, they were all one right after the other. So I did end up actually being able to read a little bit at work today. I read through another chapter of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows, which was about 24 pages. So that's kind of where I'm at with it right now. So now that I have returned home, I'm going to eat something now because I'm very, very hungry. I have not eaten at all today and I definitely need to. So I'm going to go do that. And I think I'm going to sit and watch a couple YouTube videos for a little bit, but I think I've got like 550 some pages now because I've just crossed the 200 page mark. So I've got about 550 pages left, whoops, of uh, Deathly Hollows. And so I should be able to finish it tonight. I really think I can finish it tonight before midnight, which will be great. And then I will probably get through a good chunk of Beautiful Creatures as well. Probably at least 50 pages of that before it hits midnight tonight. And yeah, so I'm gonna go do that, relax for a little bit, just kind of decompress before I delve back into Harry Potter for the rest of the day. Um, but yeah, so I will see you guys 
possibly later on okay, today. it is 2.49. I've had some lunch, and I've sat and watched some YouTube videos for a little while just to kind of decompress from being out all day. So now I am going to continue reading Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I should be able to finish this tonight before midnight, and I'm very excited to because I really want to be able to finally say I did read and complete the Harry Potter series because y'all know this is the one out of the whole Harry Potter series I never finished. So I'm really excited to actually be able to finish it. So I'm going to get started. Uh, first, I'm going to take away, take care of my food, but then I'm going to start. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> just after five o'clock and I have gotten to page 310, 311 basically of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Going a little slower than I anticipated but I think actually I might be on pace because I did read like a hundred just over a hundred pages. Um, so I think I'm doing good in terms of keeping up with the timeline. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break though and um, just kind of make my mind be able to reset. I'm very tired apparently, so I think I'm going to try to um drink something a little bit more caffeinated just to try to keep myself awake because I'm getting very sleepy and it probably doesn't help the fact that I'm laying in bed and reading, so that's probably part of my problem. But I'm going to get up and kind of walk around and stretch a little for a moment and then I will get back to reading. Okay, so I figured standing would probably be better for me for this next clip so I can kind of wake myself back up and um, moving my chair into my desk. But yeah, so I've got my very short EO, Eeyore, EO, <laughs> Eeyore pants on, my pajama pants. I decided to get into some comfier clothes and um, yeah, and then I've got my nice Gryffindor, or not Gryffindor, uh, this is my Hufflepuff Quidditch shirt that I got from Hot Topic that's very much stretched out now. And yeah, so to celebrate Harry Potter, you know, haha. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. And currently, I just took a sip of my only Rockstar I have, which I haven't drank since, I think, September. I haven't had an energy drink since September. And, no, that's probably not true. But, I mean, I haven't had one in a good few months. And um, I'm going to try to take it easy with it just because the last time I drank an energy drink, it gave me a very upset stomach. And um, I think it's because I may have drank it a little too fast. But I can already feel that I'm getting awake because I, did, I drank some of that. So... Yeah, it feels weird that I'm not going home today because this is actually, it's about, like I said, it's about after 5 o'clock and this is about the time that my mom would be here to pick me up to take me home during the weekend. And so it's really weird that I'm not going home because most of the 24-hour readathons, I've gone home. Um, so that's just really, really strange. But I'm going home next weekend. I couldn't come home this weekend because my younger sister has a softball tournament that it would just be absolute madness to travel me with them. So I just thought it would be easier for me to stay here this weekend. Plus, I've got a lot of homework and stuff to do next weekend. I'm very excited because we're actually going to get um, tattoos. My younger sister's turning 18 on Wednesday. And so one of the first things she wants to do after she turns 18 is go get her first two tattoos. Two, uh, one of, And I'm getting two tattoos as well. One of each of ours is going to be this very similar. It's going to kind of be for the same thing. And then the other for each of us is going to be different um, because we wanted different things as well. So I'm very, very excited. I will 
try to vlog that as if I can. I don't really know. I might try to vlog her a little bit, um, getting the tattoo, her first tattoo. Because as you guys know, I have two of them currently. I, I have a Elvish one and I have a Doctor Who one. Um, but I'm getting actually a Harry Potter tattoo. I'm getting the Deathly Hollows on the inside part of my wrist here. And then on my other wrist, I'm actually getting my grandfather's signature because my, one of my grandfathers passed away when I was 13 and my younger sister and I have been wanting to do this for a while where we wanted to get his signature um, tattooed on us. We've wanted it for now a good few years and I just wanted to wait until she turned 18 so we could go get them done together because most of the tattoo parlors around where I live now, they won't accept anyone who is under 18 anymore to get a tattoo, even with parental permission. Um, but okay, so I took a little bit of a break, went pee basically, and got in a little bit more comfy clothes. It's getting a little warm in here, so I might try to open my window a little bit, and I think I'm gonna um, use my oil diffuser just to kind of keep myself relaxed and calm, and I might watch a YouTube video here kind of quickly just to kind of break up the pace of the reading, because the problem with the 24 hour read Thons is, and this is the reason why a lot of people can't seem to do it, is the stagnancy of the actual day. Because if you're trying to read all day within the course of 24 hours, it can get very stale very quickly, especially if you're kind of trying to truck through a whole novel in a, in a kind of 24 hour time span. And with Deathly Hollows being so very dense for me in terms of its length and all that kind of stuff, it's harder to get through. And so what a lot of people will try to do is they'll try to break up the day by um, using watching YouTube videos or kind of doing something else to kind of break up the um, the pace of the day. Some people may switch from physical books to audiobooks to uh, spice it up that way. I particularly don't have any audiobooks. I currently have no idea where my library card is to use Overdrive with my hometown library, which if I had it, I would know, um, but I probably could just text my mom and ask her to find it. But so... Uh, until I get that, um, I don't really have anything else I can read that would be really changing the pace of anything because even if I was to read an ebook that's still using my eyes, which um, is the same as if reading a physical copy, so I didn't really want to do that. Okay, it is now about 6 o'clock. I have decompressed and I'm going to continue reading The Deathly Hollows. Probably going to read about another 100 pages before I take another short break uh, just to kind of get myself kind of... You know, basically just give myself some time to, like, decompress after reading for a good long time. Because 100 pages is a long time. It took me about two hours to read 100 pages. Um, so that's quite a bit of time. So um, currently, like I told you guys, I'm on page 311. So I think by the time I reach, like, the 400 mark, it'll be getting close to, like, 8 o'clock or something. I don't think I'm actually going to end up finishing it before the 24 hours are up, but that's okay. I honestly just want to spend the night reading. Like, I don't want to do anything else. I don't really want to do anything other than just stay in here and do that. Um, so I think that I'm going to just spend my night doing that. And then, like, if I don't finish it by the 24 hours, that's fine. I don't really care. Um, but I will let you guys know how many pages I did finish in the 24 hours and then how many I read after um, in my little reading vlog that I will be having all uh, posted up after the 24-hour vlog because I don't know if I said this yet today. I don't think I did. But over the course of the week, I've also been doing a normal reading vlog where I've just been um, counting off the pages I read during a week um, just to kind of see how my progress is over the course of the week, really, like when I can actually spend more time reading because I feel that I don't have a lot of time to read anymore during my week. Um, but I think through the progress of this past week and seeing kind of how my week has been, um, provided that it's a fairly normal week and there's no like major problems, I can find more time to read during my downtime. And it just requires me to actually have my book with me and, um, you know, not being on my phone the whole time instead. So that's kind of what the whole reading vlog thing was. And I want to see if I can pr make that any kind of progress with that. Like if I can see myself, you know, actually reading more, the more that more time that I set aside for myself to read. And I kind of want to use those vlogs as a bit of an experiment. In, in a sense and see kind of see my progress um, and then that way too you guys can see more content from me because I feel that the book reviews and stuff although are nice they, they're fairly sparse and I feel like at least putting out a video once a week if it's just the reading vlogs will be nice um, something for you guys to actually see so anyway uh, I'm gonna get back to reading and I will see you guys in a couple of hours
So it's about 10 to 8 p.m. right now and I have just reached page 405 in the Deathly Hollows. So I have just less than I believe 300 or 350 pages left. I don't think I'm actually going to end up finishing it tonight. Like I don't think I'm actually going to be able to finish it in the 24 hour readathon unfortunately but I've made a huge dent in it so far tonight and I am still going to be continuing to read it but I, I think I might be getting close to the end of it by the time it hits midnight but I probably won't finish it. I I'm loving the crap out of this book more so than I had expected because when I was 12 reading this I had just gotten past Bill and Fleur's wedding and at the time I wasn't quite sure of what was going on. Um, I think that at the time my brain was kind of thrown off with the size of Deathly Hollow. So now coming back to it almost 10 years later and being able to say that I have actually been able to understand everything that's gone on in this book and now I understand how everything connects in this series at this point is so wonderful. Like I, I'm so impressed with myself for sticking with going through this entire reread and having a little bit of setbacks here and there but really ultimately really understanding the connections between each of the novels and a lot of the lore that's involved with it. There are so many booktubers out there that can tell you everything and anything about this series. Like one in particular, Emma Books, has done a whole reread of the series for like the 17th time and has actually done book reviews specifically for each one to talk about mostly like the spoiler stuff where she talks about the content of the novel and how it kind of transpires into the other novels and things of that nature. And watching her go through that, a lot of things make sense in terms of the concepts and now having been able to reread these for myself, I truly see those connections now and I really understand a lot of the lore especially coming across with Dumbledore's past as this novel is heavily derived from Dumbledore's past. Just so many interesting things that I never would have picked up at when I was about 10 years old but now after having you know seen other people talking about it and then rereading the series for the first time as an actual adult and being able to piece these things together is so amazing like I that's what I love about this entire reread is the fact that I'm actually able to make the connections that I should have been making when I was a kid but because I didn't understand you know series and I didn't understand how writing worked in that way at 10 12 years old to do to be able to do that now at 20 and say I understand everything it's mind-boggling so I highly recommend you know any of your favorite series that you love go ahead and reread them like Rereads are always fun because half the time you're going to find things the second time, third time, fourth time that you didn't find that first time. I know that if I was to read Looking for Alaska again by John Green, there is going to be so many things that I would have picked up the second time that I didn't pick up the first time after I had read it and then reviewed it. And it's the reason why my best friend loves it so much, Erica. She loves that book so much because every time she rereads it, she finds something different about the book that she loves and finds a different piece that helps to establish what exactly may have happened to Alaska at the very end of the story. So it's just amazing what rereads can do for you as an individual and being able to piece together things so well. I really hope that with Beautiful Creatures I can do that because especially since I'm reading these spinoff novels and the complementary novels and the novellas I can actually piece things together again like I did with this series. I'm so freaking excited. So Definitely, if you get the chance and you really want to reread your favorite series or your favorite books, do it because you're going to be able to have not only just a lot of enjoyment from rereading something that you absolutely love, but you're also going to find so many things that you may not have realized you missed or you know, relive moments that you love in your in your favorite series. Like it's such a great thing. But anyway, that I digress. So, um right now I think I'm going to take a small break just to kind of um, get some stuff out of my system. I'm just gonna sit, relax, and have a good time, and then I will jump back into this for another uh, essential two-hour sprint of reading. Um, I really don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this by the by the time it hits midnight, but the fact that I've already read over 300 pages of this novel today is astounding. That never happens for me. So I'm very, very happy to be able to say that to, by tonight, I probably will have read almost the entirety of this book in 
not exactly one sitting, but in one day, which is really great. And I'm really glad that I also finished Colliding Skies today because I absolutely loved it and I can't wait to be able to make my review of that on Monday. And I think, honestly, this weekend I can finish this. Like, I think I'm actually going to take Saturday, some time on Saturday between doing my homework to actually sit and read this a little bit more to try and finish it because I do want to try to post the review sometime next week. So, I don't know. We'll see, though. But I'm going to go relax for a little bit and then I will start up with my reading okay, again. It is 921 right now and I have just read just under another 100 pages of The Deathly Hollows. I'm currently on page 502, which I think is like just about 90 some pages more. This, this has got to be getting close to my top favorite uh, book in the series because I don't know, there's something about this, the tying of loose ends essentially that is doing wonders for me like I said earlier with being able to make connections and things of that nature it's very interesting in terms of the lore of Harry Potter and the lore of Voldemort and his connection to all these different events and people and history that is of like wands and stuff like that it's crazy um and I feel like those of us who have read the entire Harry Potter series totally understand that now and it's one of those things where, like, when once you learn about how things are connected and understand it, it's you never forget it. And it's a wonderful thing, but also it's one of those things where it's like you're still always questioning about a lot of stuff within the world, which I think is what makes a wonderful world in books, is if you're able to still question things and come up with theories for different things, then you know, that's the sign of a really interesting story and interesting lore that we want to build more. And sometimes the fans can do that. Sometimes the author can build a little bit more lore into the world, which she has done. But sometimes things just kind of go into the hands of the fans and what they think and what theories they come up with. There's a whole theory of Dumbledore being essentially death himself. And while I think that there's a lot of evidence towards that, I have a hard time believing that specifically, just because I feel like if he was actually death, he would have actually like gone out and tried to take people's souls. I don't know. Um, I have basically at this point, I have 256 seven pages left because it's 759 pages for this book so I I don't think I still don't think I'm gonna finish it by the end of the 24-hour readathon but I may be able to still finish it tonight I don't know I might see how I'm feeling about midnight because I do want to get up early tomorrow because I have a lot of homework and stuff to do tomorrow and I have to do laundry and stuff so I don't want to be up super late because I do want to try to get up early um to get a lot of stuff done because I'm gonna have so much work to do but I probably I think by the time it gets to be about midnight, I will be nearly done with it. I think I'll be at least within the last 100 pages of this book, which I'm very excited about. And that just makes me really excited because that means I'm almost done with the series. I'm really almost done with it and I'm almost really, I'm actually really sad because I do love this series a lot and I don't want it to end, but unfortunately all things must come to an end at some point, so... Yeah, I'm going to sit here. I feel like I don't really want to break right now. I kind of want to keep reading, and I'm going to do that. So uh, I'll check in with you guys again later okay, on. Okay, guys, it's like 1030 right now, and I'm going to call the 24-hour readathon here um, just because I'm really starting to crash, and I don't feel like I'm going to be able to stay up for much longer. My head's starting to hurt, I think, and I'm just not feeling great at the moment. Um, but I will tell you guys kind of where I am currently. I am on page 544 of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, so I didn't finish it. Probably could have gotten to at least page 600, um, by midnight tonight, but because I'm not feeling very well, I'm gonna end this, uh, 24-hour readathon here. Um, but down below is here my, uh my pages, which honestly is way more than I expected. Um, I did not expect to read over 500 pages today just because I didn't know that that was going to be all of it. Well, no, I shouldn't say that because I thought I was going to be able to finish Deathly Hollows, but I didn't expect it to be like 500 pages, if that makes sense. So I'm glad that I read more than that. I know that for sure. And um, I'm very, very happy that I not only finished a book, but then made a massive amount of progress with Deathly Hollows because I was stuck on page like 120 something for freaking ever or like 189 I don't remember at the, off the time I had but I was stuck 
for freaking ever in this one spot and I'm so glad that I made so much progress today and I'm definitely feeling like I've broken my reading slump that I've had for the last several weeks um, and I'm much more determined now to find time during my day to read. So I think that by the end of the weekend, I should actually finish this if I really pace myself well between doing my homework and reading. So I'm very confident that this is going to be done by the beginning of next week, end of this weekend, basically. So yeah, that's pretty much how I'm feeling. And then I'm very determined to continue to do reading throughout the weeks. I definitely think that when it came to the biannual bibliothon, my motivation for reading really took a downward slope because I was sick for most of that week. And so it really put me in a slump. And I'm so happy that I feel like I'm finally broken through that because I made so much progress with Deathly Hollows today and I really think it's going to benefit me for the end of the month. So, um yeah, I think that probably if I if things go well, I think by the end of the month I should be either nearly done or have finished Beautiful Creatures. Anyway, um, thank you guys all so much for joining me in this 24-hour readathon. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and be sure to be on the lookout for my week, uh, my weekly reading vlogs, which will be happening coming out in the future. I basically with those I had decided to not film for all the Friday as I was doing this vlog separately. So, but be sure to check out my reading vlog for the rest of the week this past week um unfortunately yesterday I didn't have such a great day which makes me very happy that I did so much today because I feel like I my mental state was a lot better today than it was yesterday um but you guys will see that in that vlog so um let me know what you guys think of this um and I think I have a date set for the March um 24-hour readathon it's gonna be during my spring break I think it's gonna be I want to say March 7th or 8th, but I'll leave the date down in the description for you guys with the actual dates that I had to set um, for my next 24-hour readathon because it will be during my spring break. So I know for a fact I will have the time to read as much as I want because I will be doing literally nothing my entire spring break. I'm just going to be at home and relaxing because my mom, my dad, and my sister are all still at work and stuff and I just... I can't be here. So I'm very excited for that. <laughs> so I can actually spend literally the whole day reading instead of having to worry about work and class and stuff like that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below and subscribe to become an owlet in our flock. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys.